the salt and light of the world. This phrase is often used in Christian circles, but what does it actually mean, and how can we apply this concept to our lives as believers? Let's dive in and explore. Salt of the world. In Matthew 5.13, Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. Salt has been used for centuries as a preservative, a seasoning, and a flavor enhancer. As Christians, we are called to be the salt of the earth, in the sense that we are to preserve and enhance the world around us. We are to be a positive influence, bringing out the best in others, and helping to prevent decay and corruption. In the Bible, Jesus used the metaphor of salt to describe the role of his followers in the world. In Matthew 5.13, Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything, except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Salt has several properties that make it a useful metaphor for Christian living. First, salt is a preservative. In the ancient world, salt was used to preserve food by preventing decay and spoilage. Similarly, as the salt of the earth, Christians are called to preserve and uphold moral values and ethical standards in society. We are to stand firm against moral decay, corruption, and the erosion of values in the world around us. Second, salt is a seasoning. Salt is known for its ability to enhance the flavor of food. In the same way, Christians are called to be a positive influence in the world by bringing out the best in others and helping to make the world a more pleasant and enjoyable place to live. This means that Christians should strive to be kind, compassionate, and loving towards others, bringing joy and hope to those around us. Finally, Salt is a symbol of purity. In ancient times, salt was often used in purification rituals to cleanse people and objects. As the salt of the earth, Christians are called to live lives of holiness and purity, avoiding sin and corruption, and striving to live in a way that honors God. The metaphor of salt is a powerful reminder of the role of Christians in the world. We are called to preserve and uphold moral values, to be a positive influence on others, and to live lives of holiness and purity. Just as salt adds flavor and preserves food, we are called to add flavor and preserve goodness in the world around us. Light of the world. In Matthew 5 14 to 16, Jesus continued, you are the light of the world let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Light is often used as a symbol of truth, knowledge, and enlightenment. As Christians, we are called to be the light of the world by sharing the truth of the gospel and shining a light on the darkness of sin and evil. In the Bible, Jesus used the metaphor of light to describe the role of his followers in the world. In Matthew 5 14 to 16, Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden, neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. The metaphor of light is a powerful image that conveys several important ideas about the role of Christians in the world. First, light illuminates darkness. In the same way that a lamp can light up a dark room, Christians are called to bring the light of truth and knowledge to a world that is often shrouded in darkness. This means that Christians should be unafraid to speak the truth and stand up for what is right, even in the face of opposition or persecution. Second, light guides the way. In the same way that a lighthouse helps ships navigate through treacherous waters, Christians are called to be guides and mentors to those around us. This means that Christians should strive to be good examples, living out our faith in practical ways, and helping others to do the same. We should be willing to mentor and disciple those who are younger or less experienced in the faith, helping them to grow and mature in their walk with God. Third, light reveals what is hidden. In the same way that a flashlight can illuminate hidden objects, Christians are called to expose the works of darkness and reveal the truth about sin and evil. This means that Christians should be willing to stand up for justice and righteousness and to speak out against injustice and oppression wherever it is found. Finally, light attracts others. In the same way that moths are drawn to a flame, Christians are called to be attractive and winsome, drawing others to the beauty and truth of the gospel. This means that Christians should be warm, welcoming, and hospitable, always ready to share the love of Christ with those around us. The metaphor of light is a powerful reminder of the role of Christians in the world. We are called to bring the light of truth and knowledge to a world that is often shrouded in darkness, to be guides and mentors to those around us, to expose the works of darkness, and reveal the truth about sin and evil, and to be attractive and winsome, drawing others to the beauty and truth of the gospel. Living out the salt and light concept. So how do we live out the concept of being the salt and light of the world in our daily lives? Firstly, we can preserve and enhance the world by living with integrity and moral uprightness, by serving others selflessly, and by being peacemakers in our relationships. Secondly, we can shine a light on the truth by sharing the gospel with those around us, 
By living out our faith in practical ways, and by standing up for justice and righteousness, living out the salt and light concept means embodying the characteristics of salt and light in our daily lives as followers of Christ. Here are some ways to practically live out this concept. Preserving moral values. As the salt of the earth, we are called to preserve and uphold moral values and ethical standards in society. This means standing firm against moral decay, corruption, and the erosion of values in the world around us. We can do this by being active in our communities, advocating for justice and righteousness, and supporting organizations that promote these values. Enhancing the flavor of the world. As the seasoning of the world, we are called to bring out the best in others, and help make the world a more pleasant and enjoyable place to live. We can do this by being kind, compassionate, and loving towards others, bringing joy and hope to those around us. We can also use our talents and gifts to serve others, whether that be through volunteer work, acts of kindness, or simply being a good listener. Living a life of holiness. As the salt of the earth, we are called to live lives of holiness and purity, avoiding sin and corruption, and striving to live in a way that honors God. This means being intentional about our choices, avoiding behaviors and activities that go against God's standards, and pursuing righteousness and godliness in all areas of our lives. Illuminating darkness. As the light of the world, we are called to bring the light of truth and knowledge to a world that is often shrouded in darkness. We can do this by speaking out against injustice and oppression, sharing the gospel with others, and living in a way that reflects the love and grace of Christ. We can also use our platforms, whether that be through social media, our jobs, or our personal relationships, to shine a light on important issues and bring awareness to causes that matter. Being a guide and mentor. As the light of the world, we are called to be guides and mentors to those around us, helping them to grow and mature in their walk with God. We can do this by being intentional about our relationships, investing in the lives of others, and sharing our own experiences and struggles as we walk alongside them. Living out the salt and light concept means embodying the characteristics of salt and light in all areas of our lives, being intentional about our choices, and using our influence to make a positive impact in the world around us. By living in this way, we can fulfill our calling as followers of Christ and bring glory to God. In conclusion, the concept of being the salt and light of the world is a call to action for all believers. It's a reminder that we are called to be positive influencers in the world around us, preserving and enhancing what is good, and shining a light on the truth of the gospel. Let's embrace this calling and live out our faith boldly, knowing that we have been entrusted with a mission to impact the world for Christ. God bless you.